Yeah, can you show Hi, everybody. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much. We have a wonderful treat for you. But before we get to that, I just got a couple of things to say. A, thank you so much for watching from your homes or wherever you are. Thank you for so much for the donations. Keep them coming. Those are wonderful. These are about $15 a time slide. You're welcome to pay that or more or whatever you can. And share, 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 and, and, and let the world know this is happening live right now. We're doing an improv festival uh, combined with the Black and Funny and the Twin Cities Improv Festival. Uh, secondly, well, there isn't anything else except for let's get to the show. So put your hands together for Gay Straight Alliance! <laughs> Twin Cities Improv Festival slash Black and Funny Improv Festival. Um, it is so great to be on the stage with my friend Doug here. Um, we need a suggestion. We'll get that now. Um, uh, 
Doug? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Tim. Hey, um, uh, uh, machines uh, are something that is mechanical. What is something else that is mechanical besides machine? I don't know. Just write it in the chat. Uh, and really quick, while you do that, uh, we are the Gay Straight Alliance. I'm Doug Nethercott. I'm Tim Helen. Helen uh, well, as our name says, one of us is gay, one of us is straight, and we let you, the audience, decide. So at the end of our set, if you think Tim is the straight one, you will text A to 22922. That's 22922. And if I'm the gay one, you'll text B to 22933. That's 22933. Uh, here's a little hint for everyone. Um, <clears throat> I take pride in my improv, huh? Tim likes boobies. All right! <laughs> Woo! Uh, mechanical bull. Mechanical bull is our <laughs> suggestion. Uh, that's all we need. Yay! Straight Alliance! <laughs> gonna quickly just... <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Yes, it's good. So we have to go around the top. Did you know that you're supposed to do this for 20 seconds too? Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's too much. It's too much. <laughs> all right, Mel. I got it all set up for you. She looks good. But uh, it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Same size as a real bull. That's the problem, is that this is for kids. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is this for kids? Yeah, I opened a bar for kids. <laughs> oh, come on! You didn't tell me it was for kids! Outside, it says bar for kids. I thought that was like, you know, like tiny goats. So you come in with your goats, you have a beer, you ride the bull. You know what? I'm not going to fault you for that because that makes a lot of sense to me. I'll be honest, but it's not for tiny goats. It's for, it's for children. Well, I, well, it's too late. I can't return it. It's a mechanical bull. We can we can disassemble it and sell it for parts. Uh, to be honest, I bought this on the dark web. They say it's haunted. What did I tell you about buying things on the dark web? Don't buy things on the dark web. Don't Horace, what did I say? You told me to not buy things on the dark web because they're always haunted. Haunted? <laughs> you brought a haunted mechanical bull into my children's bar. To be fair, I thought it was a regular bar. <laughs> Even if it was a regular bar, it would still be a, a haunted mechanical bull. Okay, okay, new idea then. All right. What if we let the kids, like, like, hey, kids, can you solve the mystery of the scary bull? Well, we don't know the backstory yet. It takes years to build up the legend surrounding a ghost. It's not just one person that stays in a hotel room and has somebody tug at the sheets. It's a thousand people that have that happen. And then one person who wakes up and they can't move and there's someone hovering over their face. That's what it takes. We're going to have to have thousands of children ride this bull, get scared out of their wits when they're thrown off when the bull's off, and then one kid's just going to start... You ever seen Haunting in Connecticut where that boy... The stuff comes out of his mouth, yeah. that's going to happen here for sure. Wait, are you telling me that much like in Haunting in Connecticut, your walls are full of corpses? Eps. Yay, Strength Alliance! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Uh. You're 15 minutes late. Yeah, and I, I'm i fully aware of uh, the old saying, if you're late, uh, you're late. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're early, you're on time. On time. Yeah. So it probably late. doesn't go in that order, but that's... It's not the order that's important. It's the meaning behind it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I got it. I've already done everything, so I guess you're no longer the best man. <laughs> oh, oh. What can I do to redeem myself? You can't. I have to be in this awesome. wedding. You can't. You can't. I've sunk so many monies into this wedding. It's not how much monies you've sunk in. It's the time and effort you put I in. I threw a bachelor party, and it was awesome. At a haunted children's bar. A haunted children's bar. They want to let children in there because... As soon as he opened it up to children, the state shut him down because children can't drink, apparently. 
So they opened it up as an adult bar called the Haunted Children's Bar. I'm sorry, I'm the best man now. Me, I'm the best man. You are an usher. You are not even the first usher. You're like the fourth usher. You can't de demote me to usher. I just did. Do you know what ushers are for? Nothing. I know. They're for nothing. And that's what you are. <laughs> You're nothing now. Oh, boy. You're going to be walking down Rebecca's fourth cousin. That's who you're paired up who? with. Who? Yeah, exactly. Who? Why? She was just filling out the ranks, and you got to walk her down the aisle. Oh. Mm -hmm. Fourth cousin? Fourth cousin. Not even a second cousin? Nope. What, what if something happens to you? What do you mean? Are you threatening me? What if something happens to you? Nothing will happen to me, Todd. Wow, that's pretty, pretty uh, audacious of you to say. I mean, people wear helmets when they ride a bicycle because they don't know if they are going to be the ones that fall that day. Are you telling me I should be wearing a helmet? Yeah, you should be wearing a helmet and maybe some knee pads as well. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna give you a demerit. What? Yeah, I created a system on my phone of, of the best man and the ushers, and now you have a demerit, which means you've gone down one more level. You're now walking in the fifth person, which is, oh, it's Don't Rebecca's dog on a leash. She had to make her dog one of her bridesmaids. But they won't even they won't even know that I'm there because the dog will be so cute. Yes, the dog will be in a replica of a bridesmaid. No! And you will be just her handler. <laughs> give me my give me my fake point back. No. <laughs> give it back. I can't. Put it yes, you can. I can't. You have all sorts of power. It's in a spreadsheet. It's once it's in a spreadsheet, you can't take it out of a spreadsheet. That's not how spreadsheets work. I'm pretty sure it is. Unless you <laughs> no. If, if you you can encrypt the spreadsheet, mm -hmm. but then you just click edit at the top and I then it's done. I didn't pay for the full version. I can't unencrypt. <laughs> I'm using an online version that I downloaded illegally. So why don't you just use Google Sheets or whatever it's called? Because this is a fucking iPhone, that's why. Okay. 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 Fine. Tell me what I have to do to get back up to number four. Fine, you wanna know what you have to do? Yeah. I need you to go back to fourth grade when you called me Fatty Timmy and take it all back. I need you to go back in time and unhurt me. Can you do that, Todd? <laughs> Everyone, can you do that, Todd? Everyone called me Fatty Timmy. Yes, but I didn't love everyone. <laughs> Wait, you... Loved me? Yes! <laughs> you broke my tight little fourth grade heart. Whoa. And that's why I got married to a woman and had four children, because I knew you'd never love me. This is feeling a lot like the movie Nocturnal Animals. Jake Gyllenhaal's character has this thing brought on him, too. This is crazy. Oh, boy. Um. So wait, much like in the movie Nocturnal Animals, are you going to fake my death and then film it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I would never do that. Oh, I'll never. Okay, no, I, I, I see you I now. I that. see you now. The second to marry. No, do not give me back no, the point. Hand, you're just handing out programs. Oh, come you're on! Out programs? programs? Yeah! Programs? Yeah. yeah. And They're they... still in the Vista print box. They're not even in a fancy basket. Nope. God damn it! And everyone's going to blame you. Oh. Listen, I'm sorry. I can't take back what I said all those years ago. And I can't take back the fact that it caught on like wildfire. <laughs> and everyone called you Ch Chub. Fatty to me. Fatty, Fatty to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I, what I can do is tell you that I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's another demerit. No! I don't believe you. Son of a bitch! Yay! Great! Alliance! Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Hey, 
Hey, Marshall. Hey, what's up? <laughs> you texted me. You said it was an emergency. Yeah, it's an emergency. It's an emergency. Um, you know how you own a Toyota 4Runner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's my pride and joy. Yes, it is, isn't it? I traded up from an FJ Cruiser. Yeah, I know. I remember it was there that day, and you were like, yeah, a dream come true. 4Runner. Yes. Whoa. Oh. So, okay, I had to run out to get, uh, okay, so, funny story, I ordered a bike tire online, uh -huh. and it was delivered to REI, uh -huh. so I had to go pick it up, but I can't ride my bike, because that's the bike tire, so I borrowed your forerunner. You know, you're not supposed to, <laughs> I thought, I, it, 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 REI is just, like, it's a couple miles away, right? REI is always a couple miles away. <laughs> well, um... While I was there, um... No. Um... Don't say it. A group of beavers took your forerunner and they go it away. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry! This See, is why we don't go to REI! I, I thought they were just animatronic! I thought they were like Cabela's, you know? Like, oh, look at the cute animatronic beavers in front of REI! But hey, they were not. No! REI attracts true wilderness. Yes, no, I know. Rock climbers, people that like to be in small tents. It's ridiculous. And beavers. Beavers. Beavers, beavers with um, with a slim yam and uh, the want for a large four-wheel drive vehicle. You know what? You know what this means, right? I broke the pact. The pact. Never let what. Beavers steal, steal my car. car. Yes. Never let beavers steal my car. You know what happened to my father. He was stolen by beavers. He was stolen by beavers. The one thing that I loved in my life, my father was stolen by beavers. And so every time I get something new that I love in my life, which is typically a Toyota product, yes, yes. I say, never let beavers steal my Toyota. Toyota. And I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But, 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 but hey, um, I think I can make it up to you. This isn't just a RAV4 we're talking about. Or a Corolla or a Matrix, a Yaris or a fucking Echo. Okay, it's not. I get it's it. It's a forerunner. I get it. But look, look at the picture I took of this group of beavers. My God. Notice how one of them is much taller. Yes. And more human-like. Yeah, I, I think it's a beaver leader. Look closer at the beaver leader. Uh, he looks like a beaver leader. <laughs> it's your father. My God, his teeth are hideous. He's got beaver teeth. He's trying to fit in with them. It's probably Aspen. But Marshall... He probably chopped down a small tree and used it and implanted them himself. You're not... This is your dad. My dad was stolen by beavers. I don't know what you're talking about. Can you please put two and two together? Wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> Hold on. Yes. <laughs> My father was stolen by beavers 17 years ago. Mm -hmm. and, and now he is a beaver. Which means... The beavers have figured out how to turn people into beavers! <laughs> no! no! Oh, this is worse than I thought. Marshall, uh, your car is low jacked, right? Yeah. I know where it is. Yeah. Let's go there and find your dad. Oh, yeah, my dad. Yeah. My dad! My dad! That's my dad! I and mean, you're gonna have to, I mean, like in the movie Nell, you're gonna have to sort of unnell him. Sure. Tell me more. I haven't seen the movie Nell. Oh, then never mind. <laughs> Gay Straight Alliance! <laughs> Jodie Foster. Hey, kid. Oh, hey. Uh, what are you doing on the street corner? Just, you know, watching the world pass by. Oh, I hear ya. I just got out of a movie. Oh. What'd you see? What did I see? Flight of the Navigator? Huh. That's a good one. Yeah. You know, Paul Rubens did the voice of the, uh, spaceship. Uh, Pee Wee Herman. That's the guy, that's the guy. <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty great. 
cool. It's a great film. Great. Years from now, it'll probably hold up. Oh, of course it will. People will love it forever. Yeah. So, kid, uh, I missed you at the little shindig the other night. Yeah, you, you, you know, um, you know, my mom doesn't let me go to those sort of things. Oh. But uh, you said you'd be there. Yeah, I overpromised and underdelivered. <laughs> like most kids. Oh, really? Yeah, most kids will always promise that they're gonna really do their best, and then they'll uh, they'll try, but it'll never be their actual best. Well, uh, I don't like that kind of behavior. You make a promise to uh, Fat Timmy, I think you gotta fulfill it. Hey, listen, Fat Timmy, I I, I know you run these streets. And I, and I know that all my friends are, are, are devout, um, and, and I want to be, but my mom is pretty strict, and I just don't want to disappoint her, you know? What, uh, you some kind of mama's boy? No. You love your mom? Nah. You, you want to take care of her when she's older because you're afraid that she hasn't bought long-term care insurance? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you put together a life insurance policy so that if she does die, you have enough money to cover her funeral expenses? Yes, I, I oh, mama's boy! Wow, well, you figured me out. I'm a fiscal conservative. I can't be running around with a bunch of people who are just not concerned about the economy and everything that is behind it, you know? Really? A fiscal conservative? Yeah, and that's you, me. You throw your money away on flight up the navigator? I didn't throw my money away. I snuck in. Oh. <laughs> what would your mom say about that? I, my mom doesn't need to know about that. Well, does doesn't she? No, because if I, uh... the money that I would have spent on that, I've already invested. So she'll be fine with it because it'll end up going to her in the end. You think your mom's gonna be won over by compound interest? Yeah, and, and other things. I don't think so. I think you besmirched your good name by sneaking into a movie that, of course, will hold up after years and years. I might just have to go over the payphone and give your mom a call right now. You don't know my number. Don't I? You wanna test me? Listen, Chubby Timmy, I... What'd you call me? Chubby Timmy. It's Fat Timmy? <laughs> Who's Chubby Timmy? Wait, are you running with Chubby Timmy? Wait, is there another Timmy? Yes, there's another Zoftig man named Timmy who's running the other side of town. Are you running with him and not running with me? No, no. No? Listen, Fat Timmy, I would never run with another Timmy. Wouldn't you? No. I don't trust you. You sneak in the movies. Oh, I said I'm calling your mom right now. Ah, you didn't dial my number. I know I didn't dial your number! <laughs> you were supposed to collapse on the ground and beg her forgiveness just for me attempting to call your mom. You were so far away, there was no threat. Mm, my space work is not as good as I thought it was. Hey, listen. <laughs> How about I run your books? Yeah. Okay. You ever had a nine-year-old run your books? No, last time I was with a nine-year-old, we went to a haunted bar. <sighs> I think I could probably uh, give you a 4% return on your investments. That's impossible. I'm only getting 3% through the bank. Fine, five. Five. Five percent. You got a deal. Really? Mm-hmm. Gonna call my mom? May I? She's a very beautiful woman. You can't have sex with my mother. Whoa, whoa. I just wanted to take her on a date. Yeah, courtship leads to sex every time. Oh, you got a lot of learning to do, kid. <laughs> yeah, what do you know? <laughs> Gay Strike <Great> Alliance! <laughs> Robbie, come downstairs! <laughs> what? Come downstairs right now, young man! What? I said come downstairs right now! Don't you disobey me! What? Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh. 
It does not take that long to come downstairs, young man. I'm getting dressed. What, what, why weren't you dressed? I was nude. What were you doing naked? I'll do what I want. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, you are cruising for a bruising, mister. You're going to abuse your child? That's it. it was, no. <laughs> it's all a, Just get down here. What? I just got the phone with your algebra teacher. Why was my algebra teacher calling you? Well, because it seems that you haven't turned in your algebra homework for the past three weeks. No. Why not? Because algebra is stupid. Doesn't make any sense. You take that back. Algebra doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. You heard me, Bob. You cannot do this. You can't just disobey your teachers and not turn in your homework. It's very important for you to get good grades in algebra. Yeah, Mom, you keep saying that, but what if you get in algebra? That is not up for discussion. Exactly. Oh, you think it was so easy for me? You think it was so easy for me? Yeah. They didn't even offer algebra at my school. Exactly. You got a zero in algebra. But this because they didn't offer it. They didn't even just take algebra. Exactly. A zero. You are making a false equivalency. I just want to be like you, man. Take that. Mm. No. You will not be like me. Wait, why was... The... Why did the algebra teacher call? Because you have me turn in your homework. Yeah, but usually he tells the principal and then the principal calls. Well, I... Um... I just happened to already be on the phone with Mr. Fletcher and he just brought it up. Why were you talking to Mr. Fletcher? Well, because Paul... Mr. Fletcher and I have been chatting on the telephone. He smells like roast beef, Mom. Yes, he does. But All the time. Well, that's because he works part-time at Arby's when he's not teaching algebra. Every now and then, he brings me over a free French dip. I like it. You're going to smell like him, and it's going to be bad, Mom. It's not so bad. He's trying to court you. So, you know what that does? Leads to sex every time. Oh, young man, you take that word out of your mouth. Sex. No! Mom, it's real, and you need to get with it. <laughs> no, Mr. F Mr. Flat Paul is a lovely man. He's not here for, for intercourse. Sex, Mom. Stop, oh, stop it. Say the word. I refuse. Sex. No. Sex. Stop. Sex. Young man, I will get a bar of lava soap and wash out your mouth. Say that one more time. Look, I haven't done any of my algebra homework because I'm mad that you and Mr. Fletcher are seeing each other. I'm worried about you, Mom. He smells like roast beef. He loves to camp. You can't trust people who try to camp. Probably were raised by beavers who stole them from their families. That's just ridiculous. I read about it in a Reader's Digest. There was a man who was stolen by beavers, outlived them all, became the beaver leader, and then killed his kid when his kid came to save him. It's terrible. Reader's Digest has gone to shit. Look, look. That's not gonna happen, and I'm sorry. I should have talked to you before I just started a courtship with someone. It's fine. But I just want you to be safe. I am safe. And thank you for caring about me, but sweetheart, schooling is important. Learning is important. I know, algebra is easy. It's a very simple, it's, it's, I've, I've, I've done all of the homework, I just haven't turned it in. Well, then, trying to teach you a lesson, Mom. You're trying Teach me a lesson. Yeah. But that's my job to teach you. <laughs> you don't have to teach me anything. Mom, what? You can't say the word sex. I just don't like it. Too much siblings at the front and too much sex in the back. Sex. No, stop it. Say it, Mom. I refuse. Say sex, Mom. Mm. Sex.
six. No, you said the, the, the word six. I didn't. I said what you said. I said sex. Sex. You said sex. I like did not. Sex Fifth Avenue. No, I would never say that. Sex. Box appeal. Box appeal. Box appeal. Sex. Mm. Mom, say it. Fine, you're grounded. Go upstairs. <laughs> I'm calling Paul. Mm. I'm... You know what? Fucking. Ah! Gay Strike Alliance! Hey, man. Hey. Hey, man. You don't look good. Aw, oh, man. Um. You sick? I just watched a, a beaver man kill his kid. It was not good. Did you call the cops? Oh, I can't call the cops. You know my history. I can't call them. No, you can call the cops anonymously. You don't have to tell them who you are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're not using a phone, are you? Nope. I'm not using a phone. Man. A man who doesn't use a phone. It's like a fish doesn't have a, a, a radio. <sighs> what? What? I'm just saying. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm sorry you had to see that. It was, it, was in a, it was in the parking lot of a Toys R Us. A Toys R Us? Yeah. The one over by REI? Yeah. Ah. I mean, a, a former Toys R Us. Sure. Sure. Yeah, no yeah. more Toys R Us. I hear Jeffrey still lives there, though. Jeffrey, yeah, he's a ghost now. It's gotta be tough. Yeah, ghost drafts, that's gonna be a real problem. You, uh, you want to have sex? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the game straight on line. Yay! Yay! Thank you so much. Woo! Woo! Um, uh, it was so wonderful to perform for you all. Um, we hope you are all well and safe and healthy. Um, please give it up for your next group, Brother Brother! <laughs> Hey! Well, they always said dance like no one's watching. <laughs> yes. Come get these twerks. Hi, I'm John Gibertatios. I'm Denzel Beelit. And we are Brother. 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 Yes. Thank you all for streaming and staying there. I hope you um, are having a good time. And uh, what? what is... Uh, what is up? What is up? Nice to see you. Yeah, it's been it's been far too long. Yeah. Um, even though we live in the same city. That's right. Uh, we're in the middle of a double pandemic. Yes. <laughs> How's it a double pandemic? Oh what? Yeah. How's it a double pandemic? Yes. Well there is the COVID that's killing us. Come on now. And then there's everything else that's been killing us. Now people are finally starting to realize that it's actually killing us. That's right, that's right. We're talking about you, popcorn. <laughs> You're going down, you're bad for my cholesterol, <laughs> not corny. Yeah, yeah right. we're switching to that butterfree life. Yeah. That's right. yeah. <laughs> uh, why don't we, uh, uh, if people are still there, um, why don't we get some suggestion, like something, you know, uh, I would like an object, like a typewriter or uh, you know, a desk, you think, think of an object and just type it in. Yeah, and while you're typing that in, I would love to, uh, for you to type in a relationship between two people that you would love to see unfold on a city bus. So I'm thinking, like, lover, ex-lover, I'm thinking, you know, um, author, editor, uh, just really, you know, the most exciting things you can think of. Um, like, and if you had that slash in there, that'd be really great. I don't mm, know why. Yes, yes, yes. Um, okay, yeah, there's a 30 second delay. Okay, there's a 30 second delay. So we can be patient. We got wrench. Okay. Ooh, wrench. Wrench. Great. We got wrench. Cool. Scorned actress and her agent. What? Scorned actress and her agent. Scorned actress, agent, okay. and wrench. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. We are brother. 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 <laughs> Tiffany, get in here! Yes? <laughs> Tiffany, take a seat. 
I've got some good news, some bad news, and some good news. What order would you like it in? I would like the good news, the bad news, and then the good news. The good news is I'm getting the promotion. The bad news is you're out of a job. The good news is we don't have to see each other again. <laughs> that hurts my heart, but I like seeing you. And also, why are we getting rid of me? I'm me. I know, we're downsizing. <gasps> if you don't know, we're in the middle of an epidemic here. Really? Yes. Well, it seems like we could just overcome it. Shut the door. Looks fine to me. No, Look at that's part of the problem. What? You see, everything's happening behind closed doors. We're moving through an open door policy here. And I have to be honest with you, you, Tiffany, are not that good of an actress. No. I feel like there's something holding you back, Tiffany. Something that is just preventing you from becoming the star I thought you could be. So tell me, Tiffany, what's going on? Okay, all right, I'll tell you right now, but it's pretty controversial. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's the patriarchy. Oh, no! Ba, ba, ba! The patriarchy. <laughs> Men holding me down, keeping me away from my dreams, my goals, all because of their fragile egos and desire to want to overthrow women from actual having that power. Ba, ba, ba! Tiffany, and I have to be honest, part of the reason why I am letting you go is because I am in fact a man, therefore part of the patriarchy. Tiffany, I may have gotten a promotion because I am a man and it is that simple for me. I must tell you, I do have you a new agent. And a yes, new she, she is coming through the door right now! Hello. Hey. Hello. You must be Tiffany. Yes, that's You me. can go now through that door. What? Backflip. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't open the door first. Backflip. <laughs> Men, am I right? Yeah. Always <laughs> trying so hard to go so little. <laughs> now, Tiffany, I read through your file. Are you hot, Tiffany? I am. <laughs> Tiffany, <laughs> turn on the AC. Fun fact, all of our offices have an AC, but the men like to keep it hot to keep us down. Ooh, yes. that's true, that's true. Now, Tiffany, I've been reading through your file, and yes, while he might be a man, he is right about something. What, what is know? it? It's, uh, oh God, I don't, mm, it's the fact that uh, your full potential isn't being utilized. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you so much. Tiffany, I need you to tell me everything about your past. I'm ripping off my pearls and I'm throwing them away because they've been choking me for so long. Oh my goodness. Tiffany, yes. we need to go into your past to realize what might be holding you back. Okay, all right, I'd be happy to go into the past with you. Agent who I just met, what's your name? What is it, my name? <laughs> Take my hand. Whoa! Again. Yeah. You brought a friend. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Tiffany. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Shut up, Tiffany. I am. But we're here. <laughs> we're here to do the job. Yeah. Oh, great. Wonderful. Well, have at it. All right. Now, Tiffany. Yes. I look. Listen. Yeah. I thought we were going. You're to gonna take this jigsaw, Ooh. and I'm <laughs> gonna take this pickaxe. Oh, <laughs> and we need to break down that block of ice. Okay. 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 Now here's the thing, even though I have the tool meant for breaking ice, if you're able to do well with the jigsaw, yes. he'll see that you have potential. potential. Yes. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
Get Tip me go faster. <laughs> what? Tip me go faster. He'll see that you're barely trying. Ah. Tiffany, you can do better than that. I'm trying. Tiffany, come on! Go! 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 It's going good. I can't! You can't! I can't! You can't, Tiffany! I haven't told you this, Kiara! But I don't want to go into the ice industry! What? You have so much. Potential. I know. I know, Kiara. I just, I have different dreams. You have different dreams. I know, and even though we are identical twins, yes, I, I just, I have a different path in life, and ice is so perfect for you, but for me, it's, it's the, my technique, it's, it's Hollywood. What? I'm gonna be a performer. What do you, what do you think ice is? You think I, ice I, is I, I thought ice was just ice, but could you tell me what ice is? It's a beautiful thing that you put a Zamboni on and you, you, you can clean it up. Oh, see, I don't understand life lessons unless they're in a song. <laughs> well, see, there, it's a bunch of ice. Stuff that you skate around. I call it life. I'm not in the Olympics. Never thought it really could be. But you and me, we could join maybe someday. I don't know. What do you say? You and me get some skates and play. Compete against the Russians. Mm, after that, have some stuffing. What do you, what do you think? <laughs> I, I, I just don't know. OK. OK. I've already packed the bag. Oh my god, Tiffany. I brought it with us. It's an expensive bag. It is. It's Hollywood oh brand. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you need to get into Hollywood. It's beautiful. I also have these train tickets. Oh, you have an extra one? No, it's two because there's a leg over. <laughs> <laughs> so I understand. No, I understand. Go, Tiffany. I'll, uh, I'll just continue where you left off. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Oh, Mr. Train Conductor! Yes? Has the train left yet for, well, for Hollywood, no. all uh, Fort Wales? Ah, not yet, not yet. We'll leave it in about 30 seconds. Oh, what's up? Yes, yes. Should, we should probably get on. It's funny because we're talking like this, and I really should probably get on the train, but for some reason I feel compelled to talk to you. Yeah? Yeah. Well, 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 uh, well uh, all right, all right. This is good. This is good social interaction. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's real good social interaction. You know what? What's that? I'll be honest with you. No one never really wants to talk to the good old train conductor here. Oh, well, uh, I would love to talk to you. I'm going to Hollywood. Can you tell by my bag? <gasps> a Hollywood bag? You know that you can only get into Hollywood if you have a Hollywood bag. Is that true? It is absolutely true. You said it earlier, Tiffany. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. What's your story? It seems like oh. you're a train conductor, but also really good at customer service. What? <laughs> Me? Oh, my story? Well, it goes a little something like this. Get in here, boy. Get in here, boy. Have a seat. Yup. They made a new invention. Yup. They, they weren't it. supposed to do that. Yep, son. They're going to do it. We have plenty of good things already. Why need, do we need something new? We, we to transport our goods to the other place where they go, but faster. Mm -mm. We need to. I don't <laughs> trust those people. I know, I know. I know. I've heard stories about those people. I know. I you know, know they burn in the sun. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. I don't trust. I know. I, don't I know. trust. I know some, but <laughs> listen, there's a future ahead. If you can be a pilot of the train, which is also called a conductor. Why would they call it that? That sounds stupid. What am I, a magnet? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. I don't listen. I don't make up the names. I just am here to tell you. You. Oh, you're telling me. Yes. You're telling me I must become this conductor. Yes, son. It's the future. And then after that, there might be something called the internet. Either way, <laughs> I'm here to let you what? know there's a. Well, no. Why? I don't need no net. 
What? I don't need no conducting. What do you need? I, I don't need anything. I'm perfectly fine here in 1841. Oh, you, <laughs> you son. You and I both moved to the tippy tippy top of the top of America to get away from a lot. But uh, we gotta find a train. We already ran so far. Why must we keep running? Because it's in our nature. Run so far. I swear to God, we begin with those Negro spirituals again. Let me in. It doesn't need Bye. To that. Bye. 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 Come on. I will be a conductor. If it means I want to hear another Negro spiritual for you. <laughs> you <got it. laughs> <laughs> Mr. Conductor, that's quite the story. Yes, 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 as you can tell, yes. Uh, my grandfather sat us down and sang us. Wait, but I do have a question. Yeah. In that story, you did mention the year is 1841. Yes. With my calculation, is at least 180 years ago. That's correct. The Negro spirituals run deep. <laughs> yes, but how does that make you the age that you are? Why you look like a spry 56? Well, I thank you so much. Prune juice. Ah, a lot of prune juice. It is good for you. Oh. Yep, I do my stretches. There's a couple other criteria. I live in a multi generation I don't need to know everything. We should get on the. Okay. We should get on the. Come on, go for it. Come on. Mind the gap. That's right. So, anybody else coming in? Nope. Next up, Hollywood. So, are you telling me in this? All this train, <laughs> I'm the only passenger. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I would whistle with you, but for some reason I can't. Oh. I can't snap either. Really? Mm -mm. I'll teach you. Oh, please don't. Okay. <laughs> it seems violent on the bones. Oh no, it's like awful. I don't know what that sound is supposed to be, but it sure sounds like small bones cracking. Really? Mm-hmm. No, it's just an illusion. It's an illusion. Just imagine it being your fingers clapping. But isn't that just a clap? <laughs> yes, yes. Just scale it down. Add more friction and wish. But you said scale it down, yes. but I heard ramp up the friction. Yeah. Which never seems like the right thing to do in my experience. Well, That's why they make lubricant for things. Oh. Like gears. Come on now, Timmy. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. You're, you're supposed to lubricate your hands yourself with your own biological means. Your pores. Mm -hmm. You should be sweating. I don't um, want this to go to a place where it probably yeah. grows. I don't know who's on this train besides you and me. I thought it was no one. Are you telling me there's someone else here on this train? I'm just saying you never know. I'm paranoid. Oh. <laughs> you can never tell. Okay. So, um, I was going to go into ice. Oh, yes. The uh, frozen water conundrum. Yeah, yes. Uh, how, what do you, well, good. I'm glad that, that you were going to go into it. You seem nervous around me. Yeah, well, I gotta be honest. I have a background in dealing with spies, and you look like one, Tiffany. Hey, <laughs> look at you. That doesn't make sense. I don't know. You're suspicious. You don't whistle. You don't. You don't finger snap. And you went into the ice. I don't Mr. Know. Conductor, do you hear that ticking? Is that you? I don't. I don't think it is. Emergency stop! <laughs> oh! 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 I can't, excuse me, I need to go to the little actress's room real no. quick. I can't tell you, you can't. 
Looks like we meet again. Hello. <laughs> Hi, it's me. The spy who's been spying on you. Hi. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you thought you could get away from me. Ah. But you always leave a trail. Ah. It's the tracks. Ah. I just follow the tracks. <laughs> and I use my grappling hook. Where is climb aboard? Oh. <laughs> Just when I thought, what do you want? Information, intel? Mm -mm. What? The thrill. You sick son of a gun. Mm -hmm. Yes. Who, who hired you? Who do you work for? I work for me. I hired myself. That is I was an eccentric billionaire. And when I realized that hunting humans was cliche, I decided to start chasing trains. <laughs> What? Yeah. What a lie. There's a whole short story about hunting human. No one ever told me. Really? Yeah. It's called the most dangerous game. But you know what I think the most dangerous game is? What? English class. <laughs> Say more. Well, you often read the most dangerous game in English class. Often pairs with the short story, The Lottery. Oh. Which is about, I don't know. Stoning people is bad. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Can I see this grappling hook? <laughs> My grappling hook? Yes. It's say it right. Grappling hook? Mm, I feel like you're mocking me. No, I would not. <laughs> well, beyond that point, I believe I can just be sincere. Okay. May I see the grappling hook? Mm, yes. Thank you so much. Are you hoping to grapple somewhere? Yes. Far away from you. Oh no, but this is your train. I know. And I don't know where else to go. We're somewhere in the middle of Montana or Utah or Connecticut. I, I don't know. know. Those aren't near each other. No, no, no. <laughs> I just let the tracks go where they must. Okay. And, uh, well, I, I feel like you're delaying this leaving for no reason. I don't want to leave. I'm tired of running. Oh, then give me back my grappling hook. No, why don't you have then a seat? leave. I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is a turnabout. Don't try to grapple me. I'm right here. Well, if you do not want to be grappled, then you must... <laughs> I must what? Leave this train expeditiously. Fine. But I'm taking this. No! Mm. That's such a bag! Ooh, we. Tiffany! Where's my bag? <laughs> Tiffany! I'm sorry. Where's my bag? Tiffany, you're gonna have Where's to... my bag? Tiffany? Where is my bag? A spy stole it. <laughs> A spy came and took your bag. I'm trying, I'm trying to protect it with this bag. Where'd that grappling hook come from? <laughs> from the spy. So, what I'm hearing is, you got something from the spy, while I lost something from the spy! Yes! This is like ice all over again. Wait! I have good news and I have bad news and I have good news. I want to hear it in reverse order. Okay. I want to hear the good news, then the bad news, then the good news. The good news is, we will be together for the rest of the ride to Hollywood. The bad news is, I will never get your bag back. The good news is, that in the end, it doesn't even matter. Okay, that was neutral news, okay. bad <laughs> news, and then just more bad news. Yeah. But fine, fine, I'll figure out some other way to get into Hollywood without my Hollywood bag. Just conduct the train. Okay, I'll just sit back and daydream. In silence. I'm gonna daydream. What would you do, Dad? Daydreaming is a silent <laughs> Whispering is also considered noise. <laughs> If we have to talk, then we must talk. No. What was this about a dad? I've never had one. What's that? It's a father. It's a I don't person. get it. It's right before you come out the womb. Mm, I don't understand that either. I grew up with no parents. Okay, well, a dad is just somebody that's in the background, but also 
in the foreground. There's somebody there to pick you up. They're just another parent. That's all. And they just know what to say when times are hard. That sounds lovely. Yeah. I lost my parents. Really? To ice. What? Mm -hmm. What happened? Uh, it was just a... It melted a little in. Okay. Ooh. Good. Because I gotta say, when you say ice like that, and in these times, it's weird, and it makes me feel like it's a weird detention center where immigrants go. Oh, and God. Oh, God. Who would do that? And why would they name it after something so whimsical like ice? I don't know. That seems too Yeah. In so many regards. Thank you. I just needed to clarify that. Okay. Oh, my. Is that what I'm supposed to expect in Hollywood? Yeah. This evil ice? Probably. Oh, God. Along with palm trees and horrible coffee dates at a Starbucks. <sighs> Yikes. People go to dates at a Starbucks? Yes. And not an independent coffee store? Correct. Oh, God. Haven't you people ever heard of? Well, just singing a new God damn door. door. No. I write since not a tragedy. <laughs> And we're gonna sing old school panic at the disco, then we're gonna sing old school panic at the disco. So we could sing new school panic at the disco where they embrace the more poppy poets and have done collabs with artists such as Taylor Swift. Please embrace it. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could. You can. No. I'll I'll start the train and stop again if you want. I would prefer if you just started the train. Okay. And we could just see where this goes. Can I tell you the truth? And that, Tiffany, yes. that's what's been holding you back. Right. I have the. Give it up for Brother Brother! Yay! 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 Woo! Wow! That was by so fast! That was so quick, yes. Thank you all so much. Uh, uh, this is. Denzel Beelin, and that. John Gebertatios. And we are. Brother, brother, brother! We're not gonna do another set, I just wanted to button that and get into host mode. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please, 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 right now, if you can, reach deep into your pockets, and if you like if you like this program that you've seen so far, go ahead and drop 15 bucks, 30 bucks, $60, and just keep on going up to your Bezos status, baby, because this is the Twin Cities of Black and Funny Improv Festival collaboration! Woo! Yes, um... What else can I say? I think there's more show. There's definitely, we got more show coming up for you. We got one more block, two more groups. You're going to love them. Stay there. Stay put. If you're ever playing this on some, like, screen, like, just projector screen, big up for you. Uh, in the meantime, please uh, put all the clapping emojis for uh, a, a, a Geisha Alliance. Woo! And then one more time for Brother Brother. Yeah! yeah. And uh, that's it. We'll see you soon. Bye! Da da, I'm losing bad da da burn.